Hi guys, it's Alejandra and I'm sitting here inside my closet and uh, today's video I'm going to show you um, not my whole closet, I'm I promise I will get to a closet tour, but I'm going to show you guys one half of my closet or like one fourth of my closet where I keep all of my tank tops, my socks, my underwear, and my bras. And um, somebody actually requested to see how I organize my tank tops, um, so I'm going to show you that drawer first and then I was going to do that video separate and then I realized that's right next to my socks, my underwear, my bras, and so I was like, oh, I'll just combine it. Um, and at first I was like, do I really want to show my underwear on camera? But um, it's not really a big deal to me. Everybody has underwear, so um, it's not like I'm showing myself in underwear. It's just my underwear drawer. So um, I'm going to grab the camera and show you guys exactly what I do, how I store them, um, and give you guys ideas for what you can do inside your own um, dresser drawers or closet drawers. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys these four drawers right here. I'm going to start start with my sock drawer. So, and let me just give you guys a quick background. So all these drawers are made by Alpha from the Container Store. As you know, I'm obsessed with Alpha. I have Alpha in nine spaces in my house. Um, okay, so this is my sock drawer. And I divided them into three categories. I have my dressy socks, then I have my casual socks, and then I have my fuzzy socks. Fuzzy socks are those, you know, those really soft socks that you wear at night that keep your feet really warm. These are my favorite. Um, okay, so dressy socks. So all I do is I really just um, kind of roll the socks into a ball and then I stick them vertically up like this. And I can see all my socks right when I open the drawer. I love it. So dressy socks, casual socks. With the casual socks, I just, I have like every color of the rainbow because these six came in a pack. Um, these are all just different colors, and I just color code them, um, or I just organize them by color because it just makes it really pretty. These are my lucky socks. I love these socks. They're cute. I got them in Colombia. My mom's Colombian, so um, I have family in Colombia. Okay, so I, I wear these whenever I uh, need luck. <laughs> okay, so over here is my fuzzy socks. I told you about those. By the way, these are the best socks. These are my favorite. Um, these came in a pack of three and they're from Brookstone. They're just so nice and warm and fuzzy. Okay, so down here is where I have all of my tank tops. I love this drawer. I love opening it because everything is folded really nicely. Um, so you can see here that I organize and store all of my tank tops by rolling them. So I kind of roll them in fourths. Let me show you guys. So all I do is, you can see that's double folded, and then I just roll it again into fourths. This is really hard, holding the camera and rolling. And then I just roll them like this. This is obviously messy because my hand is holding the camera, but um, you can see. All right, that's how I fold them. Okay, so let me quickly tell you guys about the dividers inside this drawer. So um, as I mentioned before, this drawer is made by Alpha, and if you have Alpha, or you love Alpha, or you've seen Alpha at the container store, then you might know that they don't make dividers for their drawers. I don't know why. I wish they would, because dividers just make a huge difference inside drawers. So um, what I've done, and I've tried adding all types of dividers and like nothing seemed to satisfy the perfectionist inside of me. So uh, what I've done that does satisfy the perfectionist inside of me is um, I've added these drawers here. This one will take it out of place. Um, these are, they're from the container store. I forget what they're called, but all you do is it's a really thick piece of plastic and they come in um, lengths. I don't know what the lengths are, but you just cut them to the size that you need. And it looks pretty straightforward and simple, right? It looks like pretty easy. Like the sock drawer has it, this drawer has it. Um, but I will tell you that installing all of these dividers took like four hours to like figure out, um, to like recut because it's hard to cut. Um, it took about four hours to get this perfect and I'll tell you why. If you notice, these drawers are at an angle, which makes it very difficult. So I had to cut this at like, I don't know, it was like a 30 degree angle or something to get it exactly to stick. Um, and that's why it took so long. And then another reason why um, it took so long is because before I had, this is a liner, before I had the liner in place, I was trying to stick the end cap onto the, um, just like the platinum drawer, and it kept falling off. I tried a hot glue gun, it kept falling off, and then I realized, well, maybe if I get a liner, it'll stick to the liner. So then I got a liner, and then I stuck uh, the end cap to the liner, it kept falling off, and then 
for some re for some reason the liner wouldn't stick to the drawer and then it was just a big mess so what I did was I and here's what you got to do you got to glue gun the liner it's kind of coming off now but you got to glue gun the liner to the platinum drawer and then you got to glue gun the end cap to the liner and then you got to cut this at like a 30 degree angle stick it in place and then it works perfectly I've had these dividers in place for like maybe six to eight weeks now and they just work perfectly. So although it does take a really long time to set up, to me it's worth it because my my drawers are now divided. See, I just want to look at my sock drawer again. Like isn't that just so pretty with all the colors and like the dividers and everything's folded or rolled nicely. Doesn't that just make you happy to just open this and like look at that? It makes me happy. It makes me want to just smile. So anyways, moving on. So let me show you my underwear drawer. And again, I was a little hesitant to show you guys my underwear drawer for whatever reason. But, um, yeah, when I thought about it, I was like, oh, it's not a big deal. Everybody has underwear. So, okay, so this is my underwear drawer. Getting to the point of the, vid the video. Um, I basically fold my underwear in quarters. And then I store them by color. As you can see, I have a lot of pink. I just realized that I have a lot of pink. Um... So yeah, I sort them by color. So pink, yellow, blue, black, green, purple, black. And then on this side, I have my bathing suits. Um, yeah, so underwear, bathing suits. And this is pretty easy to maintain. I mean, you just fold your underwear after getting it out of the laundry and you just put it back where the, the right color section is. So it's pretty easy. And again, I have the divider here as well. Um, same thing, it took a really long to do because it has the same angle. Okay. And then the next drawer I want to show you, these are my long sleeve shirts. Um, they're all in the wash right now. And that drawer is missing a label. Okay, so here's my bra drawer. I have all of my regular bras on this side, regular bras on that side, and I have all my sports bras in the middle. And I store them vertically like this so I can see everything immediately when I open the drawer. And then again, I sort them by color because it just makes it pretty when you open the drawer and then it's functional at the same time because you can look for whatever color you need. And as you can see, like this drawer, things are not folded perfectly. I told you before in my jean video, that um, I'm not the perfect folder, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, um, that is everything I want to show you guys. So I showed you my socks, I showed you my tank tops, I showed you guys my underwear, bathing suits, my long sleeves, not really much in there, um, and then I showed you guys my bras. Okay, so that's the way I organize my socks, my underwear, my bras, my tank tops. Was that weird that I showed you guys my underwear drawer? I don't know. I was going like back and forth whether I should show that, but um, hopefully that wasn't weird. So um, if you organize your undergarments um, in a similar way or in a different way and you have it on video, I would love to see. You can leave a video response or you can um, leave a comment below and let me know exactly what you do and I would love to see it. If you want more information on um, getting organized, staying organized, becoming more productive, or anything along the organizational lines, then you can visit my website at alejandra.tv. And I will see you guys soon. Bye!